successful business people antarangal meemunna avishkarinte captain tho kaase karyakramaniki swagatham state bank of india banking rangalone oka diggajam maanamoola gramalaku saitham banking sevalu vistaristhu munduku dusukelthunna bank itondi diggajaniki deputy managing director ga vyavarasthunna vyakti man rashtra rajdhanilo unnarante sbi man rashtraniki isthunna pradhanya sabhini chesukochu idivale state bank of india deputy managing director ga padavanathu pondina sri shivakumar ee vaara man captain adi kohinoor బంజారా లాంటి ప్రీమియం బ్యాంకింగ్ సెంటర్ కావచ్చు లేదా ఎస్ఎంఎస్ అన్హ్యాపీ లాంటి కస్టమర్ గ్రీవెన్స్ సర్వీస్ కావచ్చు ఇటువంటి ఎన్నో వినూత్నమైన ప్రొడక్ట్స్ సేవలను ఆవిష్కరించిన శివకుమార్ సేవలను ఇప్పుడు ఎన్నో బ్యాంకులు అనుసరిస్తున్నాయి అందుకే ఈ వారం మన క్యాప్టెన్ శ్రీ శివకుమార్ ఆయన ఆయనతో ముఖాముఖి ప్రారంభిద్దాం చలో సో కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ మిస్టర్ శివకుమార్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ బికమ్ డిప్యూటీ మేనేజింగ్ డైరెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ prestigious bank like uh, state bank of india thank you very much my working at hyderabad has done good to me so thank you doctor okay. thank you so we have been here for a while now and uh, before uh, going deeper into your banking experience let's go into your personal details sir. okay sure. so uh, you are a bihari i yeah, i belong to bihar very much a bihari so where, where are you from bihar i belong to basically muzaffarpur uh, it's a place in north bihar mm -hmm. uh, but my education has been in uh, patna and ranchi uh, okay. most of it uh, Okay. What what's your uh, parental background? What what was your father? Uh, my father was in the government service. He was an IAS officer, okay. and my mother has been at home only. Uh -huh. uh, and we belong to Bihar cadre, so mostly we have had our childhood there. Okay. So you 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 had a beautiful background, family background, because your father was an IAS officer, and uh, he never had any uh, problems as such uh, during his childhood. Uh, not really i mean <laughs> yes i mean it, it's it's uh, it has been a comfortable life for me if i can say so okay. uh, so very true uh -huh. but is lucky that way okay uh, so during your uh, schooling days uh, were you a bright student uh not very bright i would say i mean you know uh, study probably has not been my favorite thing to do okay. uh, <laughs> uh, but yes i have been able to do good enough to get good results and i passed out my school with uh, very good marks so i got national scholarship so at that point of time mm -hmm. uh, but uh, i tried to become a doctor which i could not become oh. maybe science was not uh, so uh, you 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 wanted to be a doctor or your parents wanted you to be a doctor uh, probably it was under influence of my parents that i wanted to become a doctor that uh, doctor is a very good profession i do believe but uh, i felt that it requires a lot of hard work uh, you know you have to work a very long many long years to get established yourself probably uh, i didn't like that or that idea was not you know palatable to me so then you shifted to uh, the arts uh, discipline yeah actually after the isc uh, i shifted to arts discipline and uh, majored in history okay so you were interested in history or because it was available you took it history a uh, couple of reasons one history is a very easy subject uh, so you know it is uh, you don't really have to apply your mind much to study that mm -hmm. uh, secondly you know at that point of time uh, you know, upsc ias etc was a very major attraction for children oh. and history was a very popular subject uh, for that so maybe uh, uh, that could also one of the reason that i chose history or my parents suggested that i should take history okay so uh, your college days again you concentrated on your studies or not much no i i i definitely realized that study was important but uh, i was uh, a lot you know quite a good sportsman i would say uh, i used to play a lot of cricket uh, mm -hmm. i've captained my college team uh, i played for university uh, okay. cricket uh, couldn't go beyond that because again my parents or felt or society you know merit uh, on me that you no know, study is very important to succeed in life so you're still uh, interested in cricket now i am in uh, in drawing room only i mean nothing okay. <laughs> so about oh yeah very much whenever there are one days 20 yeah, yeah, yeah i do i do that okay. that's who is your favorite cricketer tendulkar definitely i mean the world used to say that he is god now i have also started believing that he is god you know only so he is great absolutely of course dhoni has created a lot of ripples in the cricketing world gambhir of late as you know yes and before before these guys during your your days uh gavaskar was there uh, even ajit wadekar uh, was there so i have been fans and kapil dev when he won world cup in lords uh, yeah it was a great yeah. thing to it was a great feeling okay so uh, once you finished your uh, ba honors did you go for a post graduation i did i did join my ma course and at the same time i started writing for uh, exams and i got through this state bank of india professional officer recruitment process 
Oh. And I joined Faith. You joined Patna University, but you couldn't complete your MBA. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> I got, got the job and I thought uh, it was very attractive. So those days banking was a lucrative uh, career opportunity. Very, very good. And it has been. I mean, I have been so your banking. parents have approved your joining the bank and discontinuing MA? No, in the heart of heart, uh, probably my father wanted me to go to government service, I mean UPSC, IS kind of thing. But uh, bank was also paying very good money at that point of time. Okay. So what was your initial salary like? Uh, maybe 800 rupees. Okay. <laughs> so even that, that amount was a great amount those days. It was very well paying salary at that point of time. This was in 1970s? 75, 1975 I think. Uh, Banking job. Uh, how was your first job? Uh, you liked the profession right from the day one? No, no, it, it was a very interesting uh, job uh, actually, you know, normally one is put on probation for two years in the State Bank of India, that's why we call probationary officer. Mm -hmm. And we have been very well treated. So, oh. uh, jocularly I used to say later that, you know, first two years, the State Bank of India treats you like son-in-law. Okay. And after two years, actually, the State Bank becomes son-in-law and you <laughs> become father-in-law. You have to nurse them, take care of them. So I had a wonderful time, actually I joined in Hyderabad only, we had a staff college here, beautiful, on Begum Trade Road. And when were you married? Oh, I was married soon after I joined in 1976, uh, oh. I got married. So immediately after joining your bank? Yeah, within a year, yes, probably my father was waiting to... <laughs> so, okay, that was an arranged marriage? Yeah, very much arranged marriage. Okay, so where, where, where is your wife from? What she also you? actually, I was studying Patna only, where I had studied. Yeah. And she also belongs to Bihar, so that way it was a very, you know, similar kind of family, so... Is she working or? No, she's not working. Just okay, she's at home. And what about your kids? I have two children. I have a daughter. Uh, she's married now. She lives in Gurgaon. Uh, her husband works for Adidas Sports Goods Company. Okay. She has also been working, but right now she's not working. She has worked in HDFC Bank, uh, in the Pan Lever and uh, Taj Mahal Hotel. Uh, I have a son. He's studying in Delhi in SRCC uh, Commerce. He's doing. He's in BCom final year now. So, have you ever uh, thought that you would become uh, a deputy managing director of the bank one day? Uh, I really didn't, you know, set any goal for me ever. But I have always worked hard, sincerely, and I believe that if you work hard, sincerely, you will get your uh, reward. Okay. And that's how it has been happening. Okay. And that's how I reach this status now. Okay. So, uh, uh, what are your key responsibilities as a deputy? Managing Director of State Bank of India. Uh, I'm yet to get my assignment as Deputy Managing Director. Okay. I'm still working as Chief General Manager of Hyderabad Circle. Okay. Uh, there, there are different would, businesses. Would you be transferred from here? Or? Uh, there is a strong possibility of that happening. Okay. And uh, I might uh, have to leave Hyderabad and I'll miss Hyderabad. It's a lovely, beautiful city. Yes, uh, very vibrant. People are very enterprising here. Okay. So, let's uh, get into your uh, banking uh, career more and uh, the challenges that you have taken up. So Mr. Shukmar, uh, when you joined banking, the present day banking, uh, there is a lot of transformation uh, in the last say 30, 30 years. So uh, of course, in the usage of technology or in the operations, there is a tremendous change. But uh, what are the key changes that you have observed uh, as a banker uh, in the last three and a half decades? Uh, you are very right, actually, uh, almost a continuous revolution is happening in Indian banking and uh, global banking also. When I joined the bank, you know, if you needed to withdraw money, you had to go to a branch and use to get a metal token, and you had to wait for your turn to come, now an ATM machine. Actually, that was the first uh, revolution that took place in Indian banking. Yeah, apart from telecom, uh, this is another good, good thing that has happened to the, uh, especially for the Indians. Very much, and banking has changed at a very, very fast pace. Now, a ATM came, uh, you could uh, draw money at any time. Uh, then, internet banking came. You could go and, you know, now you can do transactions uh, on, on internet. You can send money anywhere, anytime. It's so easy. Uh, just to tell you an example, my son, he lives in Delhi, he's studying there. And even if he calls me at 12 o'clock in the night that he needs 1,000 rupees, I can immediately sit on the computer and transfer to his account and, he goes, to the, and he goes to the next ATM and withdraws money. So within two minutes, he gets money. I mean, it's amazing. We could not have imagined in the olden days when we were required to send a draft and he would go to bank and cash it or deposit it. Uh, now, mobile banking has come. Through a cell phone, now you can do all the transactions uh, on your cell phone. You get details. You can, you know, order your... Uh, requirements on uh, uh, this uh, uh, cell phone. So these are three uh, major steps, uh, the, uh, things that have happened. 
Of course, technologically, banking has become uh, very strong now. State Bank of India has become very strong. We have the best technology in the world, best software to uh, uh, give service to our customers. Okay. And uh, in fact, you have uh, brought a lot of uh, innovative changes in the uh, way SBI functions because you have introduced a lot of schemes. Personally, you have taken interest in creating so many uh, products and services. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's right. Actually, I have uh, enjoyed doing innovations and, uh, you know, this is my forte again. And like in Hyderabad itself, I have done about half a dozen new things which has been done for the first time uh, in the State Bank of India and maybe in the banking uh, world in this country. Uh, there are quite a few of them, like one is uh, Kohinoor Banjara Premium Banking Center, which we opened recently. And it's, it's unique in so many ways. Uh, one is that we are the first uh, branch of SBI for ultra HNIs. So we are trying to enter an arena which uh, was supposed to be reserved for the multinational banks or uh, pri some private sector banks here. And there the accounts are open only by invitation. It has a beautiful lounge. Uh, I think let's go there and uh, I'd like to show it to you and then we'll talk more there. Okay, thank you, sir.